certainly excited to, to finally get here. It's been the longest off season in the history of probably all sports, certainly ours. So it's, um, we got a great training sessions in the fall. That was, that was fantastic to be able to get all of our kids in here and put, uh, put some weeks on top of weeks together. And then, um, you know, for the last three weeks, it's, uh, you know, we finally got a schedule and it's, uh, it seems like it's go time. So we're, we're certainly excited about that. And we've got questions from uh, Jeff Patrikas. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Kelly. You know, you just summarized kind of a Reader's Digest version of what it's been like, but can you take us through the emotions that you've experienced, the players have experienced from way back in the day when you didn't know there would be a schedule to how things have ramped up emotionally as you get closer to Friday? It's a... Uh... I don't know if I'm answering this very well, but it's, it, you know, I thought our, um, uh, you know, I, it, w one of the really good things that we've got is, is that we've got a really experienced team and a really experienced staff. And that has been a, um, I don't know, for lack of a better word, a godsend, I, I think, you know, I can't imagine going through this with an entire new staff that you're having to train and, and, uh, you know, new set or new, uh, you know, a, a really young team. And so uh, it, it's, it's been a almost in a weird sense, business as usual, <laughs> I, I guess, you know, let's get in the gym and let's get work done. And, and there's some reminders about, you know, controlling what you can control and, and, and those types of things, but it's a, uh, um, it, it's, it's been a little bit more business as usual. Once we got our schedule, uh, then we were able to lock in a little bit more. There was something to look forward to. You got an opponent in front of you, which, which generates a little bit more enthusiasm. Um, you, you know, you're able to kind of get into practice and try to work on some things that you know you're probably going to see the first couple of weeks, which is probably a little bit different. But, you know, with this group, it's just been, you know, let's get in there and let's, let's try to find ways to get better individually. And Alex, you had a question? I sure do. Hey, coach, how are you? Uh, Great. The, the, the schedule, it's kind of like a, a college hockey schedule. You know, you pack two games in every weekend, and obviously it's great to finally get it started. But what do you like? What don't you like about the schedule? You know, yeah, I'm going to have to to talk with, uh, uh, you know, Mark and, and Tony about how they go about this. It's uh, it's certainly different in our sport and, you know, playing, playing people back to back. It's, I, I like it. I'm excited about it. It's, uh, you know, certainly from a, uh, from a travel standpoint, a financial standpoint, it certainly makes sense. It brings down costs. And, you know, after playing somebody on night one, you're not catch getting on a, on a plane or a bus and, uh, and getting in late for, for a different opponent the next night. Uh, you know, so you're, you're making adjustments from one night to the next playing the same opponent, which I, I think is, is certainly exciting. You know, I don't know if this is something that we will, will do moving forward, but uh, for a one year basis, I'm excited to see what that see, what, what that does. I'm excited to see what, uh, how our players respond to that. You know, what, what do you do on night two after the, the results uh, of the previous night in your, or your rear view mirror, you know, does, uh, you know, you still got to be able to, you know, you, you get, you get your butt kicked on night one. How do you, how do you respond? And, uh, you know, you, if you find a way to, you know, to win on the first night, you know, being able to wipe the slate clean and, and, uh, and try to do it again the next night. So psychologically, I think there's a little bit of differences that I'm certainly looking forward to. Jeff Patrikas had a follow-up question. Yeah, Kelly, what was, as you look back on it, what was the most difficult part of the wait? You mentioned the longest wait in the history of your sport. What was the toughest part for you and or the players, you think? You know, it, man, there, there was a lot. You know, certainly you, you want to try to keep people healthy. And so being able to communicate in a way that um, giving them information, not assuming that anybody knows, uh, you know, that they're, you know, these are college kids. They're not watching reading all the stuff that we're reading and watching the news and, and getting all the information. And a lot of the information they're getting is word of mouth. And so trying to make sure that, uh, uh, 
um, that they've got good information. You know, there was a, a real big worry. Uh, I don't know if it was fear, but just the worry of just uh, individually of them all going to isolation. That was something uh, uh, our kids, uh, players that age, that they, they seem to fear that more than getting sick, <laughs> you know, by far. They just don't want to be locked into a, in a room for, you know, for a period of time by themselves. And so trying to, you know, once they were doing that, and some of them were doing it multiple times, just making sure that they're, that they're doing okay. Um, I think those were, were probably the, the biggest stuff out of the gate. And then, then just the unknown. I mean, they're just so much, you know, you, you go through, you know, not knowing whether you're gonna have a season then the cancellation of the season, not knowing whether you're gonna have a school and then is it gonna be online uh, and everything else, the unknown of the disease, the unknown of, of some of the stuff that was happening at home with their family financials and, you know, people getting sick and, uh, you know, it, it's the, uh, uh, all, all the stuff that we were dealing with, with, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, the George Floyd and everything around the racial tensions around there, there was just, you, any one of those things is, is front page above the fold, you know, and, and you're dealing with all of those types of things. And so different people, uh, it was, you know, it, it was, it was a lot. And so making sure that, uh, that you're being there for, for your players and, and your staff, as well as your family. That was a, uh, it was trying for, for us, but, uh, you know, I'm certainly uh, everybody that's on this call was, was dealing with their own things as well. So, you know, but here we are, you, you make it through the other side and you get the opportunity of playing, which is, which uh, everybody's fired up about. Brian Posick. Hi, Kelly. Um, you, you know, you're number one in the country. You've got a lot of really good returning players and, uh, and fans are thinking, all right, this is the year, this is the year that you do it. And you mentioned a godsend having the experience that you do. If this is a younger team, they may look ahead. I would assume the team that you have here isn't looking at the big picture yet. Right. Uh, I, I hope so. <laughs> you know, that would probably be a mistake on any year, certainly this year as well. We've got a really nice mix. I mean, we've got 20 players on our team, that, which is a really large roster. And, uh, you know, I, I think eight or nine of them are seniors. But, you know, we've got 45% of our roster that's, that's, that's brand new, that hasn't been through a season here. So there's, we've got great leadership. And, uh, you know, you mentioned the ranking. You know, it's not something that we talk down. You, you know, it's, it's uh, certainly you'd rather have a talent on your team that is number one ranked than, than 101, um, you know, so, um, but it, it's, it's not something that's built up. It's not something that's talked down. It's just, you know, when you go this long, 13 months without playing a match and uh, there's just so much enthusiasm for finally being able to play, it, it wouldn't have mattered what, where a ranking came out. It, it's, you know, when that finally came out, that didn't, that had, zero impact on the joy factor on the joy meter if you will of of uh, uh as far as enthusiasm it's just okay all right let's let's just go play a match and you know when you're in the big 10 there's so many uh you know sick and nasty teams out there that uh you know you've got to be ready no matter what what anybody's ranked so we're you know we're we're certainly excited about uh playing and whatever they rank us we'll you know we'll we'll take it and we had one last uh, question from Alex. Oh, he might have Coach, I, I, yeah, I know, I know uh, the atmosphere at the field house might not quite be the same, but to kick this party off at home, uh, does that help? And what do you know about Purdue? Man, I, we are so excited to be able to play in front of about 30 fans. This is, uh, this is going to be crazy. The 30 fans and the fake noise in the background, the, it should be the, the energy level. I just, you know, uh, I don't know if there's somebody going to be popping popcorn or whether they'll just, uh, you know, bring the, the bags already, already made. But, uh, um, you know, the environment we're excited about, you know, we'll take it. But, you know, truthfully, I think, Every coach right now, man, you, you go play in a, in a parking lot or you, you go play in, you know, on the moon. Uh, they, I don't think it really matters. Uh, Purdue, and every time we play those guys, it is just a brouhaha. And, uh, 
you know, this might be the best, uh, best passing team in our conference. Uh, they've got two of the best at, uh, attackers in the league. Um, uh, Grace Cleveland and, and, and Newton on the left side. They've got a really good setter. They're ball control players. Their backcourt is just, is, I mean, just as lead as anybody. And then they've got, they've got really good coaching staff that does a great job training them. And so, uh, it's always, it's always a humdinger when we go up against those guys. We were fighting for our lives last year. They had us against the ropes big time when we played them, even though we ended up uh, winning for Rio. Um, uh, they kind of let us off the hook a little bit in the first two sets. And so um, they're, they're legit. They're a legit team. They're, you know, top 15 ranked uh, opponent and is a team that's got Final Four talent on their, on their squad.